obviously an entrepreneur, you're looking into the business side, you know, creative side, the business side. Sure. I mean, you know, people out there chasing their dream. Man, you know, how do I get the dollars to make this happen? You know, I can't, I don't, I don't have any resources. For yeah. sure. W what do you do? How, how do I'm you make I'm be honest with you, man. Find you mentors. Mm. Um, like, for instance, T, one of my biggest mentors. You know, he always wants to get up every other week or every week, you know, sit down and talk about business, talk about how we could, you know, benefit from one of each other, you know, how we could learn from one of each other, you know what I'm saying? So that's one thing for me is, is find you a mentor, somebody you can learn from, somebody can give you that, you know, that good word. Second thing is, is Google. <laughs> I put up on Google, right. man. Like, the internet is not here for, yeah. you know, no reason. Like, it's here for a reason. People's yeah. up on Facebook. To, nah, you want to learn the business or whatever have you, pick up a book. Get on Google, do what you have to do. Get up on YouTube. Watch call, the, you, know you have I mean? to call. Uh, that's right. Use your that's resources. Right. Use your yeah. resources, you know what I mean? So. Hey, now you, you talk about mentor. I'm reading up on you, you know, Ron, the CEO, sure. you know what I mean? And, and you, you had an internship that you're able to, to get access to. You got yeah, your man. foot in the that door. Was, that and was crazy. That story is crazy. The exposure. You yeah. know, no, please, please what bless us with, with what it's about, man. Bad Boy? Yeah, Bad Boy oh. ENT. You know, um, shout out to Davin, shout out to Uptown. Mr. Sean Combs himself, you know, my whole team. It, it, was, it was crazy. Like, honestly, how that all happened, to be honest with you, I woke up one morning, I got a phone call. I never applied for this job. Mm. I never know nothing, you know what I mean? And you know how you got the call ID on TV and I'm sitting up there <laughs> rubbing my eyes and my mom's cooking so the smoke is all in the front of the TV. I'm like, I'm dreaming, let me just go back to sleep. Yeah. She oh, yells at wait, me. Wait, the caller ID on the TV. On the TV. On the TV, though. And it says bad boy. Right. It says bad boy worldwide. I'm like, somebody playing a game with me, man. I'm like, yeah, right. I ain't trying to do all that. So I, she called. The lady called again. I'm like, yo, what is this? So I picked oh, up word. the phone, and it was Miss Vashta Wilson. Shout out yeah. to Miss Vashta Wilson. If it wasn't for her, man, listen. If it wasn't for her, Miss yeah. Vashta Wilson. Yeah. I wouldn't know none of the cats I know right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have right now. You know what I mean? And she called me in for an interview because you had to interview for the internship, of course. Mm -hmm. I went down there with like $50 in my pocket. I didn't even care. You know what I mean? I was working, of course, but at that, that wasn't pay week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just called in to my boss and I told him, listen, this is what's going on. He's like, oh, really? All right, see you. Go down there and do what you got to do. You know, shout out to Rob Scammer too, man. He, he held me down for that one. Went out there, interviewed for it, did my thing. 2000, you know, 2010, 2011. Mm. I was probably a bad boy worldwide. Awesome, you know? man. That's a great story. What are some of the jewels you learned, man? What'd you pick up down there? I mean, it, it just built into oh, what man. you already had in oh, you. Oh, man, right? a did, lot did of Did he make you run the juniors? Nah. <laughs> nah, he definitely didn't. He definitely did But I can tell you one funny thing, though, man. Like, he did send me on He did send me on one task, um, and I had to go to the Apple store, and I had to get a programmer for his laptop. And come to find out, it started raining. And... It, it was crazy, yo, because I'm like, listen, dude, I don't got no umbrella, no nothing. Like, he had no zip in one of his shirts out of his wardrobe closet. And it was just a plaid shirt or whatever, but it was a Sean John shirt, so I didn't care. I'm like, yo, I got a Sean John shirt. <laughs> it was out of Diddy's office. Like, what? I'm hype right now. That, that's you know the one mean? thing he came yeah. back and showed me when he came back. Yeah. I couldn't get nothing else out of that. <laughs> but he was like, yo, you see this shirt right here? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to put yeah, this yeah. on the wall. That's <laughs> a fact, man. But I learned, I learned a lot of stuff from Mr. Combs, man. And, Especially from my my other mentor, Davin Lewis, and Uptown Sort people. Yeah, I, you know, I see room. I see that. You know, a lot of times um, I see you take pictures mm -hmm. and document a lot of your movement. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I see these gentlemen, you know, really taking you know a part in you as well as you taking a part in them, right. and really supporting the movement and you know understanding the importance and, and letting the world see the importance of networking right. mm -hmm. and how important it is to move outside of your own surroundings and, and deal with more than just, just the people you know. Oh yeah, yeah. A everything in life we get is from relationships, right? So we have to look to foster and, and manage and, and introduce ourselves to the right relationships, especially when we're talking about the entertainment community. You know what I mean? So you have to you have to benefit everybody. You sure. have to. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it, back to this story, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Yo, so he got you doing this, you know, task. Right. You know, might as well have you go to juniors, right? Yo, go. <laughs> what What'd you take away from that, though? Right? Because you know, you know, a lot. You know, let's face it, man. Nowadays, you know, uh, you know, everybody likes a celebrity. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? A lot of people are humble. Mm -hmm. They They just expect. They just have their hand out. You know what? What right. did you take away from you know from that situation? Honestly. 
honestly, it, it, I'm gonna go backwards a little bit. I used to work for a company called City Life Entertainment, which was part of my two mentors, DJ Maestro and T. And a lot of people know him as Angeletti, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, and they always taught me to pretty much get into get in where you fit in type thing. You know, I mean, Miss Vashta Wilson had told me that, and Mama Combs told me the same thing, mm -hmm. which is you know Sean Combs' mother. And I didn't really understand it until I got down to New York. And pretty much it was just saying, you just don't do one thing. You just, I'm just not going to give you these flyers. You go out and you pass it out. It's multiple things that you do. You could do flyers. You can, you know, you could, you could get on the computer and do a, a, a promotion on, on the computer or whatever. You just don't do one thing. You know, it's a lot of different things that you could do within this company. We're not sitting here, you're the president of this, and you're, no, that's not how it works. The president does multiple things that you wouldn't even think a president does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I learned you pretty much get into where you fit in. Don't just think that you're coming here to work to just do one thing because that's not what's going to happen. It's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. There's a lot of different things that you want to do. Part of a bigger picture, you know what I mean? Exactly. You, you, when you're working on a project, it's all about diversification. You know, right. Multiple yeah. streams of revenue. Yeah. Yep. You know, yep. projects. That's what it's about. Yep. It's about that project weekend. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go into a little music oh, yeah. right now. A little music right now, Ron. We're gonna take a break, we're gonna get back to you, man. No doubt. Live from the box. Mm -hmm. Keep entertaining.